It's indeed a privilege to be here with you this evening. And I thank you for your warm welcome. And I wish you all the best of luck and I hope you get the chance to come. The title of my message to you this evening is What is your identity? Ya kwamba kichwa cha ujumbe wangu ni jini ni vile ambavyo unaweza kujitambulisha. Or you could say to say who are you? Na kwa njia nyingine unasema kwamba wewe ni nani? And I'm going to I'm going to pick three persons this evening. Na kwa kuzungumzia mtu jioni ya leo. And you hold your hands up because I see some people start to hold their hands as I said that. Hold your hands up and look at me. I'm going to hold your hands up and look at me. Ya kwamba mweze kuinua kitu zenu juu na mweze mkaweze kumuangalia. Okay, so I'm going to ask three persons to tell me who you are. Tell me your your Nataka niulize watu watatu waweze kujisema wao ni akina nani. In in Jamaica where I'm from, we often have our proper name and then we have a nickname. Baadhi baada ya hapo wamezaliwa Jamaica kuna ile jina halisi na ile jina ya nickname. Is that the case here? Yes. Okay, so I'm going to ask three persons to introduce yourselves. How do you choose to introduce yourselves? Nataka watu watatu waweze kusimama na waweze kujitambulisha. Praise God. Praise God again. I'm Maria Nyambula. Lakini niko hapa kuambia jioni ya leo. 
That you are not an accident. Where is your ajali? You are not an afterthought. Where is your kitu ama fikira kili tokea? Every part of you was made in the image and likeness of God. Kila sehemu yako imeungwa katika mfano wake Mwenyezi Mungu. And he wants me to remind you this evening. Na yeye anataka niweze anataka niwakumbushe jioni ya leo to walk in the identity of who he says that you are. Uweze kutembea katika ile vile ambavyo Mungu anasema wewe ni nani. And it's important that we know who we are. Na ni muhimu tuweze kujua ya kwamba sisi ni akina nani. Because your identity who you think you are. Kwa sababu vile ambavyo unajitambulisha na vile ambavyo unafikiria wewe ni nani. Will determine how you act. Inaweza kuashiria na kuonyesha vile ambavyo unatenda kazi. You will either live up to who you think you are. Wewe unaweza kuishi kulingana na vile ambavyo unafikiria wewe ni nani. Or you will live down to who you think you are not. Ama unaweza kuishi vile ambavyo unafikiria wewe sio. You will either walk in the confidence of who God says you are. Wewe unaweza tembea kulingana na mipangilio ya Mungu vile anavyosema wewe ni nani. Or you walk in the shadow of who somebody else says you are. Wewe unaweza tembea kwenye kiburi ya yule mtu ambaye anasema wewe ni nani. And I want to remind you this evening. Na ninataka kuwakumbusha jioni ya leo. Especially for those who know Christ as their savior and lord. Hasa wale ambao wanajua Yesu Kristo kama mwokozi wa maisha yao. That when we accept Jesus Christ as our savior. Wakati ambapo tulipokubali Yesu Kristo kama mwokozi wa maisha yetu, we become adopted into his family. Sisi tuliunganika na tukakuwa sehemu ya familia yake. And the scripture says that we are sons of God and joint heirs with Jesus. Kwamba Biblia inasema kwamba sisi ni wana wa Mungu ambao tutaurithi pamoja naye. 2 Corinthians 5 verse 17. Wakorinto wa pili mlango wa Wakorinto wa pili mlango wa 5 mstari wa 17. Says, therefore, if anyone is in Christ, inasema kwamba basi kama mtu yote ako katika Kristo, he is a new creation. Yeye ni kiumbe kipya. All things have passed away. Yale ma ya kitambo ya Behold, all things have become new. Na mambo yote yamekuwa mapya. So this scripture is reminding us. Basi andiko hili linatukumbusha that in spite of who people say you are. Bila aidanishi bila watu wanavyosema wewe ni nani. In spite of who you think you are. Hata aidanishi bila bado unafikiria wewe ni nani. As children of God, we are who he says we are. Ya kwamba kama wana wa Mungu sisi tuko vile anavyosema sisi ni wengi akina nani. In spite of what you've done in your past. Haijalishi bila bado umefanya siku ambazo zimepita. In spite of who you were years ago. Haijalishi bila bado umekuwa miaka ambazo zimepita. In spite of the things that you're not proud of. Haijalishi bila bado unajivunia kwayo. Do not be defined by your past. Wewe usikubali kuitanishwa na mapito yale ambayo umeyapitia. Do not allow others to define you by your past. Usije ukakubali watu wengine wakaweze kukuitanisha na mambo ambayo umeyapitia. And I want us to look at some examples in scripture. Na mimi nataka tuweze kuangalia katika mifano kwenye Biblia. We're going to look at 2 Samuel 11. Unataka tuweze kuangalia kitabu cha Samuel wa pili mlango wa 11. Mstari wa 2 hadi 5. And it says, Na ninasema, One evening David got up from his bed. Ya kwamba jioni moja Daudi akaweza kuinuka kutoka kwa kitanda chake and stroll around on the roof of the palace. Na akaweza kupokelezea katika sehemu ya 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 ikulu. From the roof he saw a woman bathing, a very beautiful woman. Na pale akiwa akaona mwanamke akiwa anaoga mwanamke mrembo. So David sent someone to inquire about her. Na Daudi akamtuma mtu aende kuweza kutaka kujua huyo ni nani. And he reported. Na pia akaleta habari. This is Bathsheba, daughter of Eliam and Na wife of Uriah. Huyu ni Bathsheba. David sent messengers to get her. Na Daudi akatuma watendakazi wake waweze kumchukua. And when she came to him, he slept with her. Alipokuja akaweza kulala pamoja naye. Now she had just been purifying herself from her uncleanness. Na alieza tu kufanya hayo hata bila kujali. Afterwards she 
because of an encounter with Jesus. Kwa sababu ya ile ushirikiano na Yesu Kristo. Like the Samaritan woman. Kama yule msamaria. You cannot walk in boldness. Hautaweza kutembea na ujasiri telling others about the life transforming power of Jesus. Na kuambia watu vile ambavyo kuna nguvu ambayo tunaupata kutoka kwa Yesu. No longer ashamed of their past. Bila aibu yoyote kulingana na yale ambayo umeyapitia. No longer wearing the labels that others have put on you. Bila kutembea na yale mavazi ama mwito ambao watu wamekuita. No longer wearing the labels that even you put on yourself. Hata bila kutembea na vile ambavyo wewe mwenyewe unajiita. Now you may not be able to relate to David or the Samaritan woman. Unaweza kukosa kushirikiana na Daudi ama na yule msamaria. They were caught in sin. Wao walipatikana kwenye dhambi. Maybe that is not your story. Labda hiyo inaweza kukosa kuwa sehemu yako. But what about your failure to recognize? Wa ama bila ambavyo unakosa kutambua the power and authority that you have in Jesus. Uwezo na nguvu ambao uko nayo kwa Yesu Kristo. Are you a Moses? Basi tunaweza angalia kama Musa. In Exodus 3, katika kitabu cha kutoka 3:9 to 14 it says. Labo 9:3 hadi 14. And no prophet Israelite has reached me Naona ninapata kujua kwamba vile ambavyo nimefika I have seen the way the Egyptians are oppressing them. Na nimeona vile wa wisi wanavyoumizwa. So no now go. Basi sasa enda. I'm sending you to Pharaoh to bring my people the Israelites. Ninakutuma pale kwa Farao uende uweze kuleta uhuru kwa wana wa Israeli. Out of Egypt. Wana wa Israeli. But Moses said to God lakini Musa akamwambia Mungu, Who am I that I should go to Pharaoh and bring the Israelites out of Egypt? Na kwamba mimi ni nani ambaye nitakayeweza kwenda pale kwa Farao nikaweza kuleta uhuru kwa wana wa Israeli? And God said, Mungu akasema, I will be with you. Ya kwamba nitakuwa pamoja nawe. And this will be the sign to you that this is that that is I who have sent you. Na hii ni ishara ya kuonyesha kwamba mimi nimekutuma. When you have brought the people out of Egypt, wakati ambapo umeweza kuonoa watu pale Misri, you will worship God on this mountain. Basi utaweza kuabudu Mungu kwenye huu mlima. Moses said to God, Musa akasema kwa Mungu, Suppose I go to the Israelites and say to them, Na basi nitakapoenda kwa wale wa Israeli na niwaambie, The God of your fathers has sent me to you. Ya kwamba Bwana Mungu baba Mungu wa baba zenu amenituma. And they ask me what is his name? Na wakaweze kuniuliza jina lake ni nani? Then what shall I tell them? Hadi nitawajibu aje. God said to Moses. Mungu akamwambia Musa, I am who I am. Na kwamba mimi mimi. This is what you are to say to the Israelites. Hivi ndivyo utastahili kuambia wana wa Israeli. I am has sent me to you. Na kwamba mimi mimi nimekutuma kwao. And you know may know the story very well. Na tunajua zaidi ya hiyo hadithi vizuri sana. That Moses continued to doubt and he asked God for sign after sign after sign. Na Musa aliendelea kuwa na wasiwasi akawa anauliza ishara baada ya ishara. Are you questioning your identity? Wewe unajiuliza vile utambuzi wako. Because you feel that like Moses na wewe unajihisi kama vile Musa that you're not qualified to do what God has called you. Na kwamba wewe haujaitimu kufanya kile Mungu amekuita kuifanya. You question yourself. Wewe unajiuliza. You question your abilities. Wewe unajiuliza uwezo wako. Or you may even doubt yourself like Gideon. You know the story of Gideon. Na pia unaweza kuwa na vile ambavyo Gideon alivyokuwa. I'm here to remind you this Nami niko hapa kukukumbusha jioni ya leo. That God has a plan and purpose for your life. Ya kwamba Mungu ako na mpango na makusudi juu ya maisha yako. Do not let what others say about you. Usije ukaruhusu kile ambacho watu wanasema kukuhusu. Or what you think of yourself. Ama kile ambacho unajifikiria wewe mwenyewe. Prevent you from walking in what God has prepared. Ni kusababisha usije ukatembea kile Mungu anavyokukusudia kukusudia kutembea. And this is not a long message you see then. Na hii sio ujumbe mrefu jioni ya leo. I want to reinforce 
to you. The importance of your identity in Jesus Christ. You may be sitting there and thinking, well, I have a vision, I have some kind of insight into what God wants me to do. Mimi ni kuna maono na nina gifts ya kwamba ninajua vile Mungu anataka mimi nitembee. You may even have got a prophetic word about your life. Labda pia umepata neno la kinabii kuhusu maisha yako. You have a sense of what God wants you to do. Na pia kuna gifts vile ambavyo Mungu anataka wewe utembee. But you are looking at your immediate circumstances. Lakini unaangalia mazingira yako kwa sasa. You are looking at your own ability. Unaangalia uwezo wako kwa sasa. And you are thinking It's not possible. Na unajifikiria ya kwamba haiwezekani. I'm here to remind you this evening. Mimi niko hapa kukukumbusha jioni ya leo. Because God has called you by name. Na kwa sababu Mungu amekuita kulingana na jina lako. You can do what he has said. You Wewe uko na uwezo wa kufanya kile ambacho nasema unaweza. And I want you to hold on to that this evening. Na mimi nataka ushikilie hayo jioni ya leo. You may be sitting here and you're feeling hopeless.
the altar is open the basi pia nafasi uko uko nayo and i invite you to come nina wita kuweza kuja and we will pray with you ili tutaweza kuomba pamoja nani do not leave here this evening basi usije ukatoka hapa jioni ya leo and not be used of this opportunity na usije ukatumia nafasi hii ya kipekee for us to stand with you ili tutaweza kusimama nawe so that you can walk in it purpose that God has predestined for you. Ili na mipango za Mwenyezi Mungu. Amen. Praise the Lord. Jina la Bwana liniulive. Praise the Lord. Jina la Bwana liniulive. Let's appreciate the woman of God. That is very powerful. I want us to rise on our feet. And maybe you are there. You are saying, woman of God, I am here. I don't know my purpose in life. I don't know the direction that God has called me. You are stranded on the way. You are stranded on the way. I want you just to raise your hand before the princess. You are hopeless. You have no hope in life. And you need somebody to pray with you tonight. Just raise up your hand. Amen. 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 Uh-huh. Asante sana Margaret. Just come forward. Thank you so much our sister you can just walk forward. Just come forward. Come on to me even. Is there anybody else in our group? Our sister you can also just come over. Yes, come forward. If there is anyone left there, I will feel that you need to be prayed for. Kama kuna mwingine yote yuko pale na unajisi ya kwamba because of your destiny. Just come. Father, we bless you, Lord. I surrender the Lord to you.